We're now inside the uh, cutting container, which is purpose built for this project. And as you can see, it moves kind of like a car wash back and forth. It can cut first horizontally and then vertically. We can make a piece as big as we want or as small as we want without the operators leaving the control room. One of the main benefits with the uh, cutting container is that we can recycle much more as we can take the non-contaminated parts we cut away and send off to recycling. The container also makes sure that the operator is kept in a safe distance from the contamination. So one special feature we have is that we didn't use water as coolant that would create the secondary waste for us. So instead we're using dry ice. When the dry ice hits the uh, wire, it will evaporate. So what you're seeing behind me right now is that the non-contaminated part is going to be put inside this bee box that's later going to be sent off for recycling. The contaminated part we're later going to send off and put in this kokil, which is now behind this lead shielding. The good thing with this is that we can separate the contaminated part and the non-contaminated part. The non-contaminated part can be sent off for recycling. The contaminated part will be sent into the kokil to the mountain and it's a very good economical and environmental thing to do.